Good morning, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to express my appreciation towards our guest of honor and speaker, Madam Maria Cecilia Bato. Thank you, Madam, for gracing us with your presence and giving us the time. And thank you for imparting your message. Your attendance surely brings back a lot of memories. As you reminisce of your old CMU allegiance days, one specific line of the past comes to memory for me as well. What do boy mali shopping? Those words are forever ingrained, not only in me, but also in 24 other people here. My co-officers and I endlessly heard this phrase from our madams and sirs during our time as aspirants. And if I'm not mistaken, the incoming officers are also familiar with this line as well. Tama ba, officer? Are good? We've heard multitudes of scolding and criticism, but because of all of this, we changed and grew better. These changes represent what it is to be part of the CAT. However, in the beginning, none of us would have thought that it would have such a big impact on us. Just like many of us in this room, coming into CMU LHS, I had no idea what the function of the CAT was and no idea of the values that the organization held. All I knew was that it was a required subject for the great tense and that I am not advised to train the officers. From grades 7 to 8, my identifier for the aspirants is that they will not take us as a and an eye advance of the point of mga basura. But as I entered the organization, I understood that being an aspirant and being part of the state team was more than that. The CAT molded me. It transformed me into an individual willing to sacrifice and put effort to serve. To be disciplined, to learn new commands, and most importantly, to listen. The growth that the graduating cadets, the aspirants, and we officers have right now are articulated to the willingness to listen and apply what we've learned. We have all flourished as individuals. And in today's graduation, we witness our cadets receive the recognition that they deserve. And our aspirants get the ranks and positions that they worked very hard for. Personal witness it means that now hard work. This ceremony highlights the fruits of all our efforts. This event would not be possible without our commandants, Mary's Mandigan Talk. Sir, we are grateful for your guidance. Along with the patience that you had when it, when it came to handling not only us, but the entirety of the CAT. It's an honor to have to serve under your command, sir. To Errol James Mingas, our battalion commander, thank you for leading us. To my fellow officers, Patch Dilaa 2020 to 2023, I stand with them on happy years. Previously co aspirants have stretched to about two years because of the pandemic. Thank you. The memories that we've had together are one of my biggest treasures. It's been, it's been both a joy and a privilege to be able to share this journey with you. It's starting from the first falling where we had no idea what to do, to our struggles on events, leading up to the pandemic and the face to face where finally we became officers. Kung ba ang kaya niya sa first few weeks, kaya na ay magpito makalini o kanyang nung dun ka ayon. So our aspirants, batch na hong tayo 2024, now officially incoming officers for the next school year, thank you for your service. You have personally seen your growth, the challenges and changes that you've been through, and we are proud of you. To the graduating class of the Citizenship Advancement Training 1, Thank you for your cooperation, and I hope you learn from us as much as we learn from you. And to the parents of the aspirants, we thank you for your attendance and your support. Finally, before I end my closing remarks, I'd like to say, finally, officers, and the job of the initiative, no? On a more serious note, though, congratulations to all of us. We are now officially graduates. 